we have been talking a lot about proper nouns. Remember, a noun is a person, place, or a thing. And if it's a proper noun, it is a special name, or um, last week we talked about um, names and abbreviations. This week we're gonna talk about special names, um, the days, the months, and the holidays. They are all proper nouns that begin with capital letters, such as Sunday, Wednesday, Saturday, Months of the year begin with capital letters, such as February, May, and October, and holidays begin with capital letters. The 4th of July, they only capitalize the F and the J, not a small word like of. And Memorial Day, the first letter of each of those words is capitalized. So if it's a day of the week, a month of the year, or a holiday, it is a proper noun. Down here, we're going to write the day, month, or holiday correctly on the line. We learn about dinosaurs on Monday. Where's the proper noun in that sentence? It is Monday. So we're going to say, make me big. And we're going to write that word on the line the way it should be, with an uppercase M for Monday. We're going to look for the proper noun in number two. On Thursday, a man tells us about dinosaurs. What's the proper noun? It is Thursday. Make me big. And then we're gonna write it the correct way on the line with an uppercase T because it's a proper noun, day of the week. Thursday. In November, we put on a play about dinosaurs. What's the proper noun there? It's November because it's the name of a month. Make me big. Now I'm going to make it with an uppercase N. November, that's the month we're in right now. The play tells about dinosaurs at Thanksgiving. The proper noun in this sentence is a holiday. Make me big. And that's the next holiday that's coming up for us. So uppercase T, H-A-N-K, thanks, giving. Now you know that we capitalize the proper nouns of days of the week months, and holidays. Let's turn the page and we are going to practice some printing on page 273. So you will see the page number at the bottom, 273, 273. We're going to practice printing our uppercase and lowercase t's. So for an uppercase T, we start at the top and go down and we cross it at the top. We start just a little bit further down for a lowercase T, you go down and then remember you start at the left for your line and go right, this arrow reminds us. So we start there for a lowercase and go around and then an apostrophe takes the place of the missing letter. So here we had an apostrophe up here. Let's practice some more apostrophes. We're gonna copy the words and slant all of your letters the same way. This word is isn't. So we're going to write isn't on the line in our best printing with our apostrophe. The next word is Yule. Write that on the line with your apostrophe. That is short for you will. Can't is short for cannot. Write that contraction on the line here with the apostrophe. Wheel is the contraction for we will. Write that on the line with that apostrophe at the top. Now we have the name Tom. Write that name here with an uppercase letter because Tom is a proper noun. They'll is a contraction for they will. 
write that word on the line with an apostrophe. Don't is a contraction for do not. Write don't on the line. I'll is a contraction for I will. Write that on the line. Didn't is an, a contraction for did not. Wasn't is a contraction for was not. I'm is a contraction for I am. And won't is a contraction for will not. Once you've copied all of these words in your best printing and you've practiced reading them, let's go on and do one more page together. This page teaches us about a newsletter. We use a newsletter to get information. So we're going to read this newsletter and answer some questions. It's called The Neighborhood. So you might find an, um, an ad like this or a, um, an article in a um, neighborhood bulletin. And it might say, Kids Help by Pam Ride. Jill and Sam went for a walk. Mrs. Bell's pet cat was out. The kids could see the cat. They ran to it. They got to the cat. Mrs. Bell said, you are good kids. She gave them a hug. So this was an article in March and it's telling about how Jill and Sam were good neighbors because they helped Mrs. Bell get her cats. First it says, what is the name of the newsletter? The name of the newsletter is the big bold print on top. This is the name of the newsletter. It's called The Neighborhood. And you'll notice that the word the and neighborhood are capitalized because they're the names of the newsletter. So I'm gonna write that on the line. The Neighborhood. And I can copy it right from up here. Number two, what is the name of the story? Well, this is the title of the newsletter and then this is the article or the story that was written. And you'll also notice that K in kids and H in help is capitalized because it's a title. It's the name of the story. So we're going to write it down here that way too. Kids help and then it has an exclamation point. Now what is the story about? What was this story about? This was about um, Jill and Sam seeing Mrs. Bell's cat out and helping her. So I'm going to say it is about kids who help with a cat. And I'm gonna put a period there because that's the end of the sentence. Kids who help with a cat. So now we've learned about reading and answering questions about a newsletter. Great work today, boys and girls. Please put this in your red folder.